I've brought your garden set. If you'll show me where you want to make your garden, I'll be pleased to help you start it. If I tell you a secret, will you promise not to tell anyone else? All right. If it's what you want. I'd stolen a garden. I had to. It was locked up and no one's taken care of it for ages and ages. And I'm not giving it back. A garden's not forgiven or taken. The garden belongs to all. You found the door. It was meant to be. I was hoping it would look different than before, but it doesn't. Everything still looks dead. That's how I thought it would be. If you look deep, you see it still has a green heart. Could be others this wick, too. Wick? In Yorkshire, wick means lies. Even the thorny ones? Aye. They've run wild and attach themselves everywhere. Some will have died, but the strong ones will be wick. And once the dead wood's cut away, There'll be roses. There'll be roses. Archibald is back and he wants to see you. Why? Why does he want to see me? I imagine it's about the governess. I mentioned it to Mr. Pitcher and he said he'd pass it on to Mr. Archibald. Be afraid. I know children usually find me frightening, but I'm quite harmless, I assure you. You're too thin. I'm getting fatter. You resemble your father. I only met him once when we were boys, but I remember him. I envied him because he was on his way to Harrow. And I was too ill to go away to school. Ill. I have always been ill. I'm sorry. Yes. Are they taking good care of you? You find me repulsive, don't you? You look... You look different from other people, but not repulsive. Different? Yes, I look different. If we met in the dark, would you scream and run away? I might, but it would only be because it's the first time. Honesty is rare. I value it. 
Are you happy here? I like India better. This is a sad house for a child. We accept what we must. Oh, I meant to get a governess for you. I forgot. I'll see to it now. Uh, please, can I go without a governess for a while? Why? Well, I'm just getting used to being here. And when I came here, I wasn't very well. But now I'm getting better. And it's... It's, it's because I'm out a lot. And... Well, if I had lessons, I wouldn't be out as much. And besides, I'm ahead on my studies. Um, I know French, I'm good at history, and I read a lot. Very well, well. Governess can wait. Is there anything you need or want? Please, could I have a bit of earth to make a garden? I love gardens. There was once someone, someone very dear to me, who loved gardens too. Take your bit of earth, whatever you please. Go now, leave me. He's the saddest man I've ever seen. Like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Who died because he loved Esmeralda.
off? Are you a ghost? No, I thought you were. Stay away from me. I'm Mary Lennox. I came here from India so Miss Archibald Craven could be my guardian. Are you sure you're not a ghost? Touch me. If I'm a ghost, your hand will go right through mine. You feel real? I am. Who are you? Colin Craven. My father's master of Mistlethwaite Manor. Father? Why didn't someone tell me he had a son? Because no one's allowed to talk about me. Why? Because I won't have it. Neither will my father. Why? Because I'm going to have a hump on my back like he has. Is that why you cry all the time? Yes. Don't you ever go out of this room? No. If people look at me, I have a fit and get a fever. I'm looking at you and you're not having a fit. I might. Well, you can save yourself the trouble. Now that I know you're human, not a spirit or ghost, I'm going back to bed. You'll stay. I have no one to talk to except my nurse, and she's away on holiday. I don't have to stay if I don't want to. You said you came from India. I want to know about India. You can read about India in books. Reading makes my head ache. Well, if I were your father, I'd make you read so you could learn about things. No one can make me do anything. Why not? Because I'm sick, and I probably won't live to grow up. Do you want to live? Not if I go and have a hump on my back, like my father. You're the cryingest boy I've ever seen. I'm going back to bed. You'll stay till I say you can go. You can't make me stay if I don't want to. Yes, I can. Everyone has to do as I say because I'm going to die. People who talk about dying are boring. I'm going. You may go now, but you will come again tomorrow. I might, if I don't have anything else to do. Mary, you shouldn't have gone looking for Master Colin. Well, if you would have told me Mr. Craven had a boy, I wouldn't have gone looking for who was crying. But no one is allowed to talk about him or see him. Well, then how do you know I saw him? Because Master Colin told me. I'm the one who has to look after him when his nurse is away. I'll be blamed for telling you and I'll lose my place here. You won't lose your place here because I'm not going to tell anybody that I saw him. And no one's going to know except you. But Master Colin says if you don't come now, he'll scream and scream until he brings the house down. We'll see about that. You said you'd come. I said I might. Mighty is only maybe, and I don't care if he screams till you're blue in the face. I suppose as long as I'm here, I might as well stay. Bring a stone sit next to me. I never had to do anything for myself in India. The English people are lords and masters there, you know? No, I didn't know. You don't know anything, do you? <laughs> 